Hello, this is Bini here. Today, I'll be talking about HSI Hang Seng Index. This was one of the requests from one of the viewers. Not only that I'll be sharing about my views on HSI, how to trade the short-term movement of HSI, but also to give you a context on how I'm analyzing into HSI. That means that you can take this technique and use it in your own future analysis. Today, this video is sponsored by Macquarie. For more information on trading into warrants, please head to warrants.com.sg. Before we talk about HSI, let's talk about how we define downtrend and how we spot a possible reversal of this downtrend. Reversal means that potentially from a previous down, price might be heading upwards. So let's talk about how we define downtrend. First, we need four points. All right, so let's say we have a reference point, which is a price high, and then we have the next point, which is a low. Then the next time when price moved up, it must make a high, but this high is lower than the previous high. So when this happened, we're going to have the third point. Okay, because the previous first two points, they become reference point, right? One and two. Then in order to complete this downtrend, that means to confirm that this is a downtrend, we need four points. And the last point must be a low point, which is lower than the previous low. So with this, then this becomes a downtrend. And the downtrend will continue if price continue to make a lower high and a lower low, and a lower high and a lower low, and a lower high and a lower low, and a lower low until one fine day, you start to see some changes here that means that price is no longer making a lower high well what i mean is that you start to see that price might be making uh, a higher high so for example price goes up and it made a high point here for example here and when you compare to the previous high it is actually showing a higher high so i label this with a hh which is a higher high so with this higher high this is the first sign that stronger bulls are coming in because it is no longer willing to stay at a lower high lower than the previous high but it is willing to trade higher than the previous high Okay, so when price moves down again, what we need to see and to confirm that this is a strong move is that the previous low no longer becomes a, an issue to the bulls who are looking to buy because they are looking to buy at a higher low. So we need to find that the next low is higher than the previous low. So when this happens, this is a sign of a possible reversal. What is happening to HSI right now is that it is currently in this stage here. That means it is currently at this stage where it is a downtrend. But the thing is that it is at the moment into a strong support. So let's check out HSI. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? For my analysis, I usually like to switch to a weekly chart so I can take a look at the broader picture. And then I like to turn it into a line chart to spot the highs and low easily. First for HSI, we know that it is near to a support, but uh, it is still in a downtrend. I'm just gonna mark the first reference point and a second reference point here, and that's the low and this is high. So with each of the high, it's not difficult to find that it is doing a lower high here, even until the recent high and the low, just I'm just going to skip some points, but you should be able to know that it is doing a lower low. So long term for HSI, it is still in a downtrend. However, if I switch this into a day chart, then it's not uh, surprising to find that HSI has started to show a little bit of an uptrend movement here with a higher high being created. So this is my reference point as a high point here. You can see that this point is higher than the previous high and this is my low point as a reference point and each of this low point is showing a higher low. Now at this moment, HSI is into a support region of 16,200. We can see that this support came from a previous low and as well as a previous high and then these are the previous high and starting to form a support level here. So this is the support level of HSI at 16,200. There is this resistance here that um, has so far been valid for HSI and that's around 16,800 to 16,900. For bullish view at 16,200, the warrant to use is a call warrant. For bearish view at 16,800 and 900, then the warrant to use is a put warrant. I'm right now at warrants.com.sg homepage. From the homepage that I have a webinar on 21st of March, 
uh, where I'll be talking about insights and opportunities for 2Q24. Uh, if you're interested, please register at warrens.com.sg webpage uh, to hear me talk about what I'm looking at in two, second quarter 2024. All right, so to select into the HSI Warren, please go to Warren 2s, go into Warren Selector. First option that you're going to have would be HSI. If holding a bullish view, then select the call warrants and there's a list of call warrants here. If having a bearish view, select a put warrant. So these are the put warrants here. For example, if I select this call warrant and I'll be able to look into the key metrics of this call warrant, such as the historical performance or the warrants calculator for you to understand that if this is your entry variable, if you have entered around 16,400 and if you are targeting to exit, let's say at about uh, 16,897, how much would be the warrant price? I hope that the video that I've posted on HSI as well as the way that I'm using to analyze in the HSI long term and short term, uh, they are helpful to you. If you do have any other contents that you want me to talk about, remember to leave that in your comments and do give a like to this video. And this is how uh, I feel appreciated for any videos that I make and any impact that I can do to help in terms of your investing or trading. All right, till then, I see you in my next video.